Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I am very excited to be building this. Here we go. This is the Lego Friends Rescue Mission Boat and it looks absolutely stunning on the outside of the box. <laughs> and it also looks really stunning on the back of the box too. Now inside the box there are six bags full of goodies to build. There are, there's a sheet of stickers and there is the instruction book. So let's get started. So first up, let's build Mia in her wetsuit. She is ready to do some serious scuba diving and she's even got the little pockets on the back which cracks me up for <laughs> extra storage now that we've got Mia's face on and her hair on we know that it's Mia not that we couldn't figure that out before because the color scheme's absolutely perfect for Mia she has also got sunglasses to protect her eyes from the raging glare of the sun off the water so she's ready we've also got Olivia wearing a brand new wetsuit which is cool she's got pink wetsuit with blue accents and she's got no sleeves in this wetsuit so she's gonna have to make sure she really puts on lots and lots of sunscreen so she's ready to go out scuba diving too and to do some rescuing but she can't do that without a flower in her hair so let's put the flower in and then she's ready are you ready for the next character to meet there's a narwhal there's the cutest little narwhal oh my goodness can you not walk all over the narwhal that would be great and Mia has dashed off to get the narwhal's horn because she can't be a narwhal if she doesn't have a horn I suppose she might just be a whale kind of <laughs> don't sit on the narwhal that's ridiculous you girls hang out over here with the cutest little narwhal and we'll see what we have to build next actually before we build the big boat we've got this little cute boat we've got a runabout so a little tiny speedboat like an inflatable dinghy and in it we've got some of these vibrant coral pieces and it's interesting how we've put them we've got like a slope here going down to where the actual seat is but it sits the girls up just the right angle that's cool and that's new now on the front there is a spotlight a pink spotlight of course <laughs> and we've got some stickers to decorate the front these are the emblems that go with all of these rescue the sea life rescue sets so we're gonna see them quite a bit and here we've got a little tray with what looks like some medicine and rescue supply type things for when when they actually rescue the sick animals they've got some emergency supplies on board okay inflatable dinghies done let's do some building some proper building so we've got a tan base plate so it looks like we might be working with some sand now because we've still got some extra things that we need to build before we start on the boat itself so we've got some sand we've got might be some grass oh no hold on we got some little water drops down here and it looks like we're building a rocky a little rocky alcove Oh, we're putting we're putting some shells on and some fish. This is under the sea. So this little scene is actually taking place under the sea. We got a carrot. Oh, and the carrot's the coral. I love that. That's in the ghost ship too, in the Paris ghost ship. Carrots being the coral. <laughs> so cool. And these new coral pieces are also really, really awesome. Doesn't it just look so pretty? It's so colourful and the textures and the shapes are all so, so nice. And here under the sea we got a treasure we got some gems here hidden away in the treasure chest this is what they're after I think and there's an octopus on top keeping guard and this goes on our little jumpers over here the little jumper studs there and we've got it's just the most gorgeous little undersea scene it's just so cute and the narwhal can hang out under here too okay so we have to imagine that the dinghy is actually above our underwater scene now what are we building next it are we building kind of another little pier area because we've got what looks like the wood bits no hold on we've got sand and water it's a heart shape oh my goodness it's a heart shape island <laughs> that's so cute Oh, that is so adorable. Oh, so it's a little deserted island in the shape of a heart and there's water lapping up around the sides. Oh, this is so, so adorable. And at the back of it, we have got a palm tree. I'm assuming that's what we're going to be building here. So palm tree to go. Uh, mm, might have to move that over a bit. There we go. That looks better. The palm tree can go over here in amongst all of the rocks. That looks so fantastic. We got just some some wreckage over here, some wood and some a few flowers, a bit of splash of water up on the sand. Oh, this is so gorgeous. And we've got a crate, 
And in here, ah, oh, the treasure map, me hearties. We're gonna have a treasure map. Now this map's actually activated by water. We'll do that in a minute, but let's see what else goes in here. We've got a telescope, which I think West looks just kind of weird with the girls because they can't hold it in any way apart from looking like they're gonna hit somebody with it <laughs> or like that use it like a walking stick let's put it in the actual crate because that's where it belongs and then we use some more of these planks of wood to hold it in and it just kind of sits here underneath the palm tree this is so cool it really looks like the wreckage like it's been washed up here, shipwrecked. And this looks like it might be part of a shipwreck. We're putting what looks like a wooden hull or part like the skeleton of a wooden hull. So, so the front part of the ship and there's just, this is all that's left of it, except I've put it together the wrong way. So let's, let's rejigger that around. There we go. So this is washed up here on, on the beach as well. And it's got a chain on it with Oh, an anchor! That's such a cool way to build an anchor! <laughs> this is so much... Oh, this is a great set. Oh my goodness! And we actually angle the under part of it and it just sits here on the island. So... Oh, you can trap the narwhal under it! So there are so many stories that we can make just with these two things that we have already built! There's the treasure, there's the narwhal rescue... Oh my goodness. Now, let's let's uh, let's wet this treasure map. So, I've got a little bit of water here in this dish, and basically if you just dunk it, you can paint it on, but you can you can dunk it. And on one side, you get to see there's the heart-shaped island, and there's the X marks the spot <laughs> out randomly in the middle of the ocean. Of course, cuz that's we've got our little underwater scene there. Oh my goodness, it's all starting to make sense. I'm just blown away by how much is already going on and this is only the first bag that we've built. This is, this is really really such a great set. We haven't even started building the boat and these little pieces of wood down here are the rest of, oh, of the lid of the chest and they've broken off. Look at that. Oh wow. Okay my mind's blown. This is this is really, really cool. Okay, 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 all right. Okay, let's start building the, let's start building the actual boat. So we're up to bag number two, and I've already had way too much fun. <laughs> so let's, let's, let's get into bag number two. Now, bag number two has actually got Andrea in it as well, and she's got a bit of a funky swimsuit here, a wetsuit. It's got a zip up on the shoulder, coming down from the shoulder. So they've all got their own little uniquely designed wetsuit, and she's heading out with a bow the side of her hair it just looks a bit weird but that's all right so let's send her underneath the ocean look she's swimming under here she's holding her breath really really well and the other girl's been wondering where she was because she wasn't in bag one so here she comes come up to the surface and she can come in here and she can help them rescue the narwhal or or not because we've got to get on with building the actual boat. So here is the hull of our enormous rescue mission boat. It is in much better repair than the hull that we have got. Oh, well, the remnants of the hull that is on the deserted heart-shaped island. But that's what the hull is, this front curved shape of the boat. Now, lots and lots of foundational building that we need to put in. And then we're going to see... What sort of things, what does a rescue mission boat actually need? Especially if the girls are going to be hanging out on it for a while. Well, I think you can guess what these three things are. <gasps> no, it's an enormous, oh my goodness, it's a vibrant coral extension to the hull. That is amazing. That is so bright. Okay, concentrating on what we're actually building in here, we've made a little basin or a little sink. Uh, we've put what I'm pretty sure is going to be a toilet roll on the side. Over here is the cistern for the actual toilet. And that is not a lot of space. So let's see if Andrea... Oh yes, she just fits in there. So they've got a teeny tiny, teeny tiny bathroom there. And we've got the three bedspreads for their beds. Now this one is obviously for Olivia. It's got all the constellations on it, including this new heart-shaped one, which they just discovered. <laughs> Amazing! And the green one is going to be for Stephanie because it's got the little lightning bolts on it. And this is a really pretty one for Andrea. 
That's really nice. Okay, so three different beds, or three different bed spreads on the beds so that they know exactly which one belongs to whom. Okay, it's looking really good. They've got the living quarters here at the front of the ship underneath the main deck. And this little clip here has got, oh, a little reading lamp. Oh, that's, that's really useful. <laughs> it's shining straight down on Olivia's bed because none of the rest of them could be bothered to read when they go to bed. They're going straight to sleep. Looks like they've got a stack of maybe books behind the bed or it could be their clothes folded up. It could be whatever you really want it to be. And on this piece of wool here, there's a picture of Mia with her new narwhal friend. Oh, so adorable. This wall is going to separate the bathroom from the sleeping quarters. And it's really starting to take some shape. We've got some curved pieces here on the side and little yellow lamps. Did you see those translucent yellow lamps going in? They're gonna light up. They're gonna light up this really well. That's cool. Okay, we are extending the boat now using the Technic plugs. That's that's cool. Okay, it looks like we're gonna be putting another one on in front of them, but we're gonna continue building inside the boat first. Looks like we have now sectioned off the sleeping quarters from the living quarters. This is the cutest little sofa. It's a tiny little sofa. It's down very, very low. Let's see what else we need down here. I uh, think we've got something with a dial, which is now straight. Thank you, teeth. And it is it a coffee machine? Because they're gonna need coffee. Or is it is it an ice cream dispenser, a soft serve? <laughs> what is it? It could be what it could be what you want it to be. It could be an ice cream, soft serve ice cream dispenser, it could be a coffee machine. But it kind of does look like it's supposed to dispense ice cream. Now we've got some drawers here. Looks like we're getting a good amount of storage space because it's such a teeny tiny living area, you're gonna to wanna to be able to store things away nice and neatly, otherwise you're tripping over everybody's stuff, which is always annoying, trust me. And in the middle of the living area here, nice big dining table, got one, two, three cups, one for each of the girls so far, and a bowl with nothing in it right now. Hopefully, we, hopefully we'll get some food, or they could catch a nice fish, and they could have fish in a bowl. Ugh. Okay, on the other side, we're making what looks like a set of, like a, 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 a tabletop with a whole heap of drawers underneath and a little, maybe a sink and a microscope. Okay, so maybe not a sink. And these look like they're gonna be specimen jars. So this is going to be the little laboratory, the research area. Oh, this is really cool. There's another little box down here for storing things in and on this, Mm, on this hook, we've got an uprighty pole thing, which I don't know what that's for. Is it another telescope? Don't know. We've got a third seat now, or sorry, a second seat, because we can actually sit two characters over here on the sofa, and one can sit up nice and tall here at the head of the table. So that's perfect. And now we section off this area, so the, the eating quarters and the research quarters. So they've got the sleeping quarters, the living area. And now we're up to bag number three. And the toilet finally gets a door. It's a very wobbly door at the moment. Let's just make sure that people can still fit in here even with the door on. That looks good. Except everybody's falling over, so maybe, maybe they should stand up. Okay, extending the boat now. We get some more plugs. And was, really, this is big. This is massive. So this is two partitions going on now and we cover over the holes here. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. We're getting some more vibrant coral along the edges, really lining. It's going to make a really, really nice stripe along the side of the boat. And now we get some windows, lots and lots of windows down below deck, which is really important so that you don't start feeling ill down here. Some more walls to section off these areas. And oh, we get another sticker. So this one is corkboard with uh, with some of the pictures and a map, postcards, you know, random stuff that you put up on corkboards. <laughs> They're generally just decorative. Nobody ever really refers to them, do they? <laughs> and heading out the front here, we've got, got to figure out which way these go. Oh, and Mia is not going to be able to fit in here with her sunglasses on her head. And I don't think... Olivia's no, Olivia's not gonna be able to sit up in bed and read, so it's very, very snug down here, <laughs> dropped piece in the bathroom. Okay, now we're all sorted. I wonder whether we're gonna be able to actually 
I'm leaving Mia in the bathroom to see if when we build over the top, <laughs> whether she's still going to be able to fit in there because that's really, really tight. Okay, lots and lots of windows going on, some nice big blue glass bricks to make it look fantastically well light inside which is good and these long sloped pieces oh, the, it, the lines on this boat are really attractive okay smooth smooth surfaces here because this is where we're going to be putting the next level on top of so it needs to be able to just rest on there and all these curved pieces are what are they really what sets this boat apart from the two other boats that have been already released in the Lego Friends series. This one is just spectacular so far. Really enjoying this build. Okay, we have now got a big, big water tank. So this is for the narwhal, I think, when the narwhal gets rescued. If the narwhal actually needs some medical attention, it can hang out on the boat for a little while. Over here we've got a whole heap of jumper studs and oh, we'll fix that up. Oh, it's looking good. And on the underneath, we'll take the Noel out so she doesn't fly around everywhere. We get all these little rounded circles, which means that the boat will be able to slide really smoothly over, over the surfaces on the table. So that's good, because it's not really on the water. So you know what? I think I'm gonna have to test this out on the water. We are up to bag number four, and we've got some more things to put out here. This is going to be like the deck area out the back where all the medical attention can go on, where, where the actual animals can hang out. We've got three hooks up here on the side and one random hook down here at the back and the, all these hooks are for the for the life jackets and there's only three though the set comes with a spare one but when all the girls are on here you can actually stack two Definitely two life jackets on each of those hooks nice and comfortably. Now this has got lots of little hooks on it too, and this has got some of our medical equipment. So first up we have got our little our little folder here that's got some random information on it. And we've got the stethoscope, which Mia is now modeling. <laughs> thermometer which she also was testing out. She seems to be well, so that's good. And we put this over is it here? I think it's here. Yep. Okay, so that's just kind of sticking out there and time to put some of the medical equipment away so these are going in the freezer the nurse's hat is going in the freezer because that's where they go and in the drawers we've got a whole heap of well all the rest of the little medical equipment things let's see what goes in this one we've got our otoscope for looking in their eyes and their ears and a pen okay <laughs> but I like the nurse's hat in the freezer that's hilarious <laughs> and oh we okay so that little hooker here has got the has got the the needle oh, for emergency emergency rescues so that goes out on the little speedboat okay over on the other side we're going to put these in the right spot so we're making some more flat surfaces to actually store stuff on so that's a little table and we've got a spinny thing here this is so cool i really have no idea what this actually is until it suddenly becomes clear. <laughs> We've got an, what might be a bottle up there next to the spinny thing. Definitely some lights on the back, some pink lights. And this sticker here are some seat cushions. So that wasn't a table at all. It's actually another little seat out the back here so you can chat with the narwhal while she's in recovery. And some more of these teal pieces which are breaking the boat. We'll fix all that up again. There we go. We put a matching one over on this side and then we have smooth pieces just here for these inward facing studs and hmm, okay now we have got a matching little thing here on the side it's got a tap so the tap here is to actually pull the water into the narwhal's tank that's that's so cool i don't know that i have a yellow tap have we had yellow taps before surely we have maybe i just haven't noticed and this little piece here has got okay it's like a lever of some sort so that's for flicking something. Maybe that's for holding the narwhal in, I don't know. We've got a whole heap of little technique plugs over here on the back so that we can actually hold this back bit on, which does it get a, like a number plate? Do boats have number plates? <laughs> I don't think it gets a number plate. Okay, we are preparing the top level here now for the second layer or the, the top. We've got some nice big arches there to support it as well. 
And it's all looking so, so good. Oh, some spinny bits on the front. Uh, okay. I suspect they're going to be for deck chairs because that's what's been on all of the other boats, the Lego Friends boats, but I don't know what this is. It's a round thing with another round thing on the top. And it's been smoothed over. And we've got some big, long... <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> okay. So this looks like this might be a telescope. Oh, this is like a this is like a lookout point right on the front of the boat. We could do some Titanic poses up here. And oh, that's so clever. All right, this is looking spectacularly cool. But I did promise you some deck chairs and that's what these are going to be. This is totally deck chairs for right out the front here <laughs> on the observation deck. Oh my goodness. Just like every other Lego Friends boat. <laughs> it's like a tradition now. They can sit up on the very front of the <laughs> front of the boat and they can sip their fruity drinks. Of course they can. I mean, you might as well relax if you get a chance to relax. <laughs> Speaking of fruity drinks, here they are. Oh, actually, they're not fruity ones. They're just really colourful. And, oh, none for Olivia. Well, they're going to have to share. Okay, now don't pout at the screen. Don't shout at the screen. But we are going to leave this build here for today because there's a lot left to see and I don't want to rush it. I mean, you have to see the things like this because they're so good. So I will see you for the rest of this build very soon. Now, make sure you don't miss it. You have to make sure you click that notification bell. Make sure you have subscribed and interacted with the video in some way, like liked it or left me a comment. That way my videos show up more often and you won't miss it that way. Absolutely definitely not so I will see you with a new video very soon and until then well I have 700 other videos you could watch so if you're bored watch them and then the new one will be here really really soon <laughs> bye